Fujifilm has been in the top tier APS-C camera brands with its X-series cameras for quite some time now. But there are comparatively lesser lens options for the X-series. Canon and Sony users have been enjoying the benefits of third-party lenses for a long time. And it seems like Fujifilm is also going to be backed by many third-party lenses very soon. As for now, the good news is Tamron has announced the development of its first lens for Fujifilm X-Mount and it's exciting as it's going to be the world's first 16.6x all-in-one zoom lens. So what are the prominent features of this lens and how is it going to affect the Fujifilm X-Series? All these are going to be discussed in this video. So without further ado, let's get started. Tamron's official press release shows that the lens going to launch would be 18 to 300 mm f3.5 to 6.3 di 3a VC VXD. So this lens will have a variable focal length ranging from 18 to 300 mm, equivalent of 37 to 450 mm, which is a huge coverage for a lens. It means for most photographers out there, this lens is going to be the ultimate lens as it will cover adequate standard angle view to crazy zooming for capturing distant objects without changing the lens. The lower end of the focal length would be suitable for everyday usage while the telephoto zooming would be of greater help for shooting wildlife and sports. Moreover, its adequately wider aperture ranges from 3.5 to 6.3 which will hopefully let you take brighter images with sharper details. And previously, we have seen zooming lenses with bulky construction, but the Tamron 18 to 300 mm lens will feature a sleek form factor which will make it easier to carry around. Moreover, this lens is going to include voice coil Xtreme Torque Drive or VXD, which is the linear motor focus mechanism of Tamron. This technology offers an almost silent and accurate focusing experience. Now let's discuss the macro photography features of this lens. It comes with a 1 by 2 maximum magnification ratio which would not give you the exact macro photography feel. But still, you can make things in your final image a little larger with the magnification offered. Besides, the minimum working distance is about 5.9 inches, meaning you can get real close to your subject. Again, it is not suitable if you want to click a small bug or something. But if you are using it for tiny product shooting, those close-up shots might impress you. In short, it is not a macro lens. The manufacturer never claimed it either. But still, it can give you some level of macro photography experience. Now let's analyze how this lens is going to perform to its telephoto end. As we all know, a little shake when you are shooting with telephoto focal length can introduce extreme vibration in your footage and make it blurry. So to make handheld shooting easier, this lens comes with a vibration compensation feature so that you can shoot smooth footage even with the longest focal length. Additionally, this lens will incorporate some user-friendly features like moisture-resistant construction, fluorine coating, zoom lock switch, and so on. Since its establishment, Tamron has been manufacturing lenses for Sony E-mount mirrorless cameras. But now, with this 18-300 to lens, Tamron has expanded its lens support for Fujifilm X-Mount lenses, and we expect to see more zoom and prime lenses from Tamron for Fujifilm APS-C cameras. Now the question is, will other manufacturers like Sigma will also release lenses for Fujifilm X cameras? Well, the chances are bright. Sigma and Tamron usually move side by side in the market. Now that Tamron is going to provide lens support for Fujifilm X-Mount cameras, Sigma should also do the same unless they want to fall behind Tamron. Besides, Fujifilm X-Mount cameras like the X-T3 and X-T4 are extremely popular APS-C cameras in the market. So do you think that we are going to see more third-party lenses for Fujifilm cameras in the future? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section.